I remember when, when Ryan first started sparring and he rocked up. Been, uh, watching you, not your gym again. No, it's literally about five minutes away from your home. Yeah, literally, yeah. Um, don't know too much about you. All I know is what I found out on Box Rec that uh, you're six and zero. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you've lost around as a professional. Not yet. And uh, after just seeing you on the bag there and on the pad, you're looking uh, quite a sweet little boxer. Yeah, not so bad. Doing and, all right. And I know you're good friends with uh, Luke Campbell. Yeah, yeah. Two horrible southpaws together. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of work together um, in the year actually. Uh, Luke meets me uh, three, four days a week, yeah. do a lot of practical stuff, a bit of technical stuff, just working on things really. Well, I was talking to your, uh, your, your manager in um, uh, Steffi, yeah. Supersonic Bull, uh, and he said you're a definite maybe. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> that wasn't my pun, that no, was a good one, it, it? Yeah. Hopefully, he'll appreciate that one. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, he speaks highly of you, mate. And yeah. You seem to have done amazing with the tickets because it's the first time in seven in six fights that you fought at home. Yeah, it's uh, it's been I'd say it's been tough, but I'm really I, I've been doing like 80 to 100 in Doncaster and uh, Barnsley, but it's it, it gets to the point where you, you can't keep getting your fans travelling every fight, every two or three months. I've been mm. quite active, so it's got come to the point where I've been wanting a fighting hull, um, and yeah, the the opportunities come where I just had my fight at the O2. Um, and then got a phone call while I was on all day the week after. you just say on the old two, it was on the undercard of uh, the Lomachenko fight. Yeah, first on, yeah. Se I, seven, I presume seven that's bill. your connection with uh, Luke then as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, well, I was overwhelmed when Luke said he, he's going to try and get me on it like, and uh, yeah, he, he didn't fail. He, he, he got me on it, and I was, it's a massive experience. I was overwhelmed by it. Yeah. Um, had that, went on all day, and then got a phone call saying I'm, I'm in Hull. Well, you've been fairly busy then, considering you've been fighting away from home. I mean, that yeah. was six fights inside it. Well, this is going to be your seventh fight seven inside fight. 18 months. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's come at the right time. Um, last fight of the year, probably. Um, step up to six rounds. I should have done six rounds in the last one, but given the opportunity to fight on such yeah, a big card, what, yeah. you, you tell what you can. So, um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to making my home debut. Done 320 tickets, so <laughs> that's uh, it's a good start. There's going to be a good crowd there. So yeah, I can't wait for it. So let's find out a little bit about yourself. What, you're 24 years old? 24. Um, what, what weight do you fight at? Uh, I've just been up and down really at the minute, but I've, I should be, day before when I should be doing Super Bantam. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, and um, what was your amateur career like? Uh, my amateur career, it, it wasn't too bad really. Um, I only went in the championships once, uh, got beat in the finals, and then I went in the elites. After taking a bit of a break from boxing, took about a year and a half out, two years out, something like that. Uh, got into the quarterfinals of the elites. Is that where you meet Matt, Matt Leach? Uh, no, that was that was in the CYPs. Oh, right. That was in the CYPs. Yeah, met him in my first round of the CYPs. That was my first fight after two years. Right. Um, I didn't have no warm up fight. It was straight with Matt Leach in the championship. So. And, and if anyone doesn't know, Matt Leach won absolutely everything. As an amateur. From, yeah, yeah, yeah. From being, I think, 11 years old to 18 years old. I don't think there was a competition that he didn't win. No, so. no. But uh, yeah, I think uh, it, it was a close fight. To be fair, it could have gone either way. Uh, I thought I'd won it, but it, it was one of them things. It was the first fight back. I was buzzing with confidence because I did so well. Matt Leach didn't even know who I was because I took so much time out. So to put on a good performance like that, I showed everybody who I was, and it was uh, it was a good fight for me. So was it a break then from when you? Re I know you had breaks in your amateur career, but yeah. from your last amateur fight to going pro, was it a break? Or uh, I'd say that probably my last four to five amateur fights was just on club shows, and actually I was in the elites. So I had about I had about four fights in the elites and got yeah. beaten in the in the quarterfinals. Um, and but all the way through, all the way through the elites, my, my heart wasn't really in it at the time, and I, I wasn't really training to my full potential. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So you must have then then won the uh, the Yorkshire region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, won the Yorkshires, won the pre quarters, um, and got beaten the quarters. So I uh, like I said, I, I didn't really take it seriously. Uh, I was working full time, didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, just what, training three well, days a week. The, what was the deciding factor that made you turn pro then? I sat, I sat down to myself and I thought, I'm, I'm 
22 now. 22 years old, started boxing when I was 10 years old. Done it for 12 years. And I sat there and thought, I, I, I didn't go out with my mates. I sacrificed everything as a young kid. Why have I, why have I sacrificed 12 years of my life as a young for kid? Nothing. I, for nothing. So, but I would take it seriously now, earn a good career, earn some money, and, and be successful and use that 12 years experience to my full potential or just get a full-time job and just regret it in 10 years time so yeah. I, uh, I had a word with my boss at the time I'm working full-time I said look I know that I'm on 15 grand a year blah 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 but I've spent 12 years of my life boxing and I want to take it seriously so I'm gonna have to leave work and did in my notice got a bollocking from the races because I couldn't afford the bills <laughs> and then uh, I, I, made, I made massive sacrifices for my first year as a pro yeah. Um, yeah so I got a bit of sponsorship to help me with my, my, in my career uh, get my kit equipment my medicals had a good first year few people was watching and got some more sponsors and yeah it's, well, if it, you sent me those sponsors over I'll run them through at the bottom of the uh, yeah. video for you give me a little shout out there you go, StoreTech Services. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, the StoreTech have, have been a massive, uh, a massive help to me. They, they, they pay me a wage now this year, mm -hmm. so they pay me to train full time, and it's it's things like this that I need. You know, I travel to Doncaster four or five times a week, I get the train in the morning. That costs four hundred quid a month, and uh, I out working, so they help pay for that. Um, and yeah, it's, it's so just fair to say you're taking it serious now. Oh Perhaps yeah, massively. For the first time in your whole of your boxing career. Yeah, today. probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm taking it far more seriously than I am. What does it help? Because I hear that every now and then you turn up here and you train with uh, with Luke. Yeah. Does that help? Because you know, obviously after his performance oh, against yeah. Lomachenko on, on the night yeah. of your last fight, yeah. must must give you great confidence. Oh yeah, knowing massive. that this guy believes in you. Massive confidence, and there's there's yeah, there's, there's the fact that Luke believes in me and he helps me, and it, it gives you it gives you that self confidence and all the little things that that come throughout my career, like fighting at the O2 having that opportunity and seeing Luke and the atmosphere and making me think, right, I, I fought the O2 now, I fought on, on match rule. Now my next step is I want to fight headlining a mm. show like this because it'd be, it's a dream that, it was a dream to fight the O2 on match rule, but you've got so to, The longer you've been in this game now, the more exciting you seem to be. Oh yeah, it's all, all the things that keep coming as I'm progressing in my career. Coming and making my own debut, that's another big confidence boost. This year's been absolutely amazing, and I'm yeah. selling 320 tickets. I've got a big fan base now, and it's yeah, everything's getting positive. Because you know positive. that will give you opportunities, oh, that yeah. fan base. I know yeah. I spoke to Steffi before, and uh, he, he's talking about you know holding shows up here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We're fighting on one of our shows, VIP. We're coming up here because we've got Sonny Taylor, yeah. and we've got um, Louis Sylvester fighting on the same show, yeah. and we've got the top of the bill on there, haven't we? Which is. Yeah. Um, Derby against yeah. um, Marcel, uh, Marcel yeah. Braithwaite, which yeah. is going to be a cracking fight. Yeah. So, uh, very, very exciting times for yeah. Tahul. It seems like yeah. big time boxing, just when you think, because uh, it looks like Tommy's on his last fight. Yeah. And that's yeah. probably not going to be in Hull, that's probably going to be on a matchroom show somewhere, yeah. won't we? Probably in the States, I reckon, yeah. But, but there's, there's life still left in um, yeah. uh, Luke Campbell, as he proved, yeah. because I think from that performance, he's, oh, yeah. he's just shown everyone that. There is a world title in him. Oh yeah, definitely, 100%. He'll win one next year. And he's your mate? And he's my mate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will he be coming down watching you? Uh, I, I think he's going to struggle because he's got um, Josh Taylor and um, Regus Progress fighting. And I think... Um, oh, so he'll be watching that then? Yeah, he'll be down there with them. He's in their stable, so he's, he's going to write that he's there supporting his team. Um, but yeah, he was going to come if he, if he were on the same day, like... Well, listen, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Yeah. Hopefully, when I'll be chatting to you next, which will be on the 26th of yep. October, yep. down at the Bonus Arena, yep. I'll be chatting to you and you'll be 7 and 0. Hopefully, yeah. Take care, Connor. Cheers, thank you. See you then, mate. Cheers. Bye.